wanaisi wasifiwe happy new year merry christmas all this we haven't said to each other is in that so wanaisi wasifiwe for the new people who may not have met me tabi wawero i love the lord jesus christ as a savior of my life i've learned to trust him at all times and uh, just a word a very quick one for those who are here those who are at home you might be at home because you're feeling like it is difficult you might be sick uh, maybe you're feeling age 58 and above you don't want to come to church but let me tell you the lord is faithful even in all these things even this covid will be over the lord was reminding me that faith is very important of course we can go to the lord and ask him for things and receive them but one other thing that i find very important about faith in the lord jesus christ is that it pleases god so wherever you are remember if you have faith it will please the lord and finally say this uh, it is only it requires you to have just very little faith as little as that of a mustard seed and you'll be able to say to this mountain move and the mountain you move amen so whatever challenges that you have in your life today all you need to do is as little as little faith as that of a mustard seed and you'll be able to say this thing this mountain in my life you may be jobless you may be feeling devastated because of many things in life you may be suffering because you have undergone the uh, you you people have passed on in this season but let me tell you with faith you'll be able to say the covid go this disease go and even if we go to heaven it is okay because one time we will still go to heaven isn't it but we can have faith that the lord will bring even those jobs because they belong to us not to them god bless you Happy New Year. There is a breaking news in uh, those who follow the news of a 76-year-old man who left home uh, 46 years ago going to seek green pastures. And then um, after 46 years, he has gone back home out there in, I think it is in Tesla land. This is home for us although we have not taken 46 years uh, to come back. Uh, maybe uh, Peter and Eunice do not know that uh, when we were elected bishop for the Diocese of Nairobi over 10 years ago, this used to be our home church because we lived just down here and we were members of the Hana House uh, prayer group, estate prayer group. Are there any members of Han House here? I can see one here. Can you raise your hand? Yes. How many know that we belonged to Han House? How many were there at that time? There's only one or two who are there. Yes, I can see our mom there. Yeah, so that is where we used to stay. Actually, we stayed, we were neighbors with uh, our mom there. And so this is home for us. And uh, when the bishop is on leave, I usually, we usually endeavor to visit various churches, especially churches that we know when we retire, that is where we shall retire. And because our retirement is not too far from now, that is why we have to come and familiarize ourselves with our home ground. <laughs> and our apologies because we have taken somebody's seat uh, I don't know who usually sits here, but uh, we, we came and sat. But I want to encourage you and say, uh, a king of Sweden was visiting a small village in the UK. And he, he went to church incognito. People did not recognize him. So he went and sat in the front like where we were sitting, or we are sitting. And uh, it happened that there is a, a lady, you know Anglicans are very good, they sit at specific places. Is that where you usually sit every Sunday? 
Is that where you usually sit every Sunday? People seem to have their own small church kingdoms where they usually sit. And so these men went and sat where at the front, where a certain elderly lady usually sits. So the elderly lady came and said, this is my seat. You go to the back and look for a seat. At the back used to be the poor people and so on. So the man walked out slowly and he went and he sat at the back. The service continued and uh, after it was over, he left. This lady was asked by a man, do you know the person whom you have moved out of that seat? He said, no, why should he sit in my seat? And um, this la other lady told this, the lady who used to sit there, that is the king of Sweden. He had come to visit our queen. And this lady who pushed the other one away was very shocked. My goodness me, I kicked the king away. I think it is important for us to know that we are all one as the body of Christ. And when we come to worship God, we come to worship God in awe and in reverence. And we also come to worship him in the beauty of his holiness. So as you struggle with the new normal, accept it as God's will. Yes, he has allowed it. He has allowed it to happen. I was listening to something that is going on on social media. Questions about America and Trump and his uh, exit so quickly. And people thought that he is the one who is going to deal with the Antichrist. And somebody is asking, why do we even allow these things that are happening? Biden came in and he said matters to do with uh, uh, homosexuality and all those things. We are going to embrace people as they are. And the question is, why does God allow this? It is because God's word must be fulfilled. We are living in the end time days. God would have stopped Judas from betraying Jesus. But in order for the word of God to be fulfilled, he allowed that to happen. The Bible talks about in the last days when there will be pestilences and when there will be difficulties in the world. So the things that we see going on today, they are a precursor that the Lord's coming is very, very soon. And you know 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verses 22, what does it say? It says Maranatha. What does Maranatha mean? Even so come Lord Jesus. Even so come Lord Jesus. I know we do not want to die. I don't want to die. That is why I'm wearing a mask. And please make sure that you wear your mask. Even when you are singing in the choir, sing with it. You can only remove it when you are eating or when you are alone in the car or wherever you are alone. The rest of the time, wear it because this is the new normal. If death gets you and you have protected yourself, so be it. You will say, even so, come Lord Jesus. So my brothers and my sisters, let's embrace whatever is going on and we do that which we are supposed to do. Hoping and trusting in a God who is good and a God who is faithful and a God who tells us that he has a good plan for us. Jesus at the Garden of Gethsemane prayed, Father, remove this cup. Father, remove this cup. However, it is not my will. May your will be done. And what is, that is what we usually pray. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So when we allow God's will to be done in our lives, whether in catastrophe, whether in calamity, whether in a challenge, we will not have any anxiety because we have known that the Lord has allowed this with a purpose for his glory and for his honor. Amen? Amen. So feel encouraged. We are happy to be with you. We will not eat with you until the end of the service because we have another activity coming up in a short while. So if you see us walk out, I don't know whether we walk out when the preacher will be preaching or when we'll be saying the creed. It's not that we are not happy with the sermon. It's because we have to live. Otherwise, we want to wish you God's blessings and uh, a blessed new year. God bless you. <laughs>